Hey, many fish. Still the third. I knew it. Once I had internet up, I wouldn't be able to stop. But I have to throw this one out. I was watching a video this morning over on It Is Finished channel there, and they were talking about the iPhone X, right? And, you know, I open Drudge, and all I see is, you know, everything is just sunshine and lollipops, you know? The jobs are way up. Unemployment is way down. We got the uh, political soap operas going on here. We got a virtual fashion show and, you know, Hollywood stars thing going on over there in Japan. You know, it's just a whacked out world. However, I just wanted to touch very briefly on the iPhone X. And this whole section of Drudge is Apple, 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 Apple. And literally, how wonderful they are. And how thousands are lining up for this iPhone X, which they will claim stands for 10, the 10 year anniversary of the iPhone. But I beg to differ, and we'll get into that later, but I just want to hit on the technology aspect of it. And most people already are very aware that, you know, facial recognition, iris scans, those sort of things, the uh, biometrics are in the midst and you know, there's really no stopping them, right? But if you want to at least give yourself some degree of, uh, I don't know, separation from the system that you see around you, the, you know, the one that uh, basically keeps you in a form of a prison daily, and uh, you want to be able to uh, duck out of that in a little bit here and there, you need to have some things in place. You can't just depend on your iPhone to do your banking and pay for your groceries and your gas and your electric bill and all these things. I'm telling you right now, you want to keep a paper chain open with like your power company, your phone and all that so that you can mail them a check. You want to know your local bank and you want to actually go inside and say hello to the human beings in there because when you can't use your phone to pay for something and you need to go into the bank to take care of a, a banking matter you're far far more apt to get good prompt friendly service from somebody who knows you recognizes a friendly face a neighbor you understand where I'm coming from it's very important to do these things do not have all your money tied up like your wealth your retirement tied up in anything paper that you don't have access to because I'm telling you this is going to entrap you in a system that where even though in the digital world it'll tell you you have all this money in your IRA or your Social Security unless you have alternate routes which, for now, the best route is keep your paper trails open. Have these entities mail you everything. Mail your bills. Mail your uh, Social Security check. I don't know. See, they're starting to force people to take it direct deposit. Because this is how the system will control you. What you're seeing, this is just part of it, but this is a big deal. They are pushing this to no end. They want as many of these in as many hands as they can possibly get, even though they're asking a thousand bucks a whack for these things, right? I mean, it's insane. But once you're in that system, I mean, once you are just completely dependent on these devices and the digital world, it's all screen, no human. You know, that's a bad place to be, man. I'm telling you, you don't want to go there. And this has far deeper, deeper meaning. Very sinister, deeper meanings. And we'll get into that because it's important for people to know the truth about the world they live in. And the fact that this beast system is manifesting at breakneck speed all around us. It's dark and it's scary and no one likes it. But we just kind of like go along to get along. The problem is, is we're reaching the end of the road where there is no get along anymore. It's go along or go. Um, so you're going to have to make some choices and do a few things if you haven't already. And uh, 
you know, seek Jesus above all. Put on that armor because, you know, we're in those times. It's, it's obvious. It's, it's something that we don't have to speculate on anymore. You need only to look around. So seek Jesus. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 